So I was playing in a football game my sophomore year of high school, and I got hit in the leg by two players from the other team. We had played throughout the game, it wasn't a big deal, but it hurt afterwards, and so I went to see a trainer. Um, the trainer thought it was an MCL sprain or tear. So we went to the local surgeon, and he did an x-ray, and I could tell by the look on his face that something was very wrong. The x-ray came back with a dark spot on the bone, and so within the next couple of days, like I had a biopsy and then like the results from the biopsy came back and you have what's called osteosarcoma or a bone tumor. It's essentially bone cancer. He had a tumor that was located just a little bit below his knee. He just kept saying, I know it's hard. I know it's hard. And I just kept saying, you're, you don't know what you're talking about. It's not, that can't be it. You, that can't be it. And we've never met these people before other than the week before. They're total strangers. They're telling you that your son has cancer. Like I stopped going to school because I had to be in the hospital and like I was getting chemo so I couldn't go to classes. I sat in this spot for like days when I wasn't in the hospital and my family still had to go to work. They still had to go to school. It was just like such a huge turn of events, like nothing was the same. He was 16 as a sophomore, so your worst fear goes from, uh, will he play football to, will he graduate, will he go to college? It changes everything. Because of the location of the tumor, it had it been millimeters higher he they would have had to amputate because at that time they didn't have any joint replacements fortunately they had an opportunity to remove the tumor i mean the tumor was just far enough down that they could you know cut the tumor out remove the tumor and leave enough of the bone above and below and actually they left the sliver on the side so it's healing fantastically i did not know about the cancer action network um, until a co-worker of mine approached me and said, I was wondering if you thought that you would be interested in being involved in American Cancer Society. There's a, a, a arm of American Cancer Society that works on advocacy. And I said, oh, I don't know if I could handle that. I, you know, I couldn't even tell her who the state senator was at the time. I said, who am I to be a politi you know, politically active and an advocate? And she said, no worries, they, they help you, they support you. And I thought, well, this would be a really good way for, for me to, to do something uh, in, in th with all the anger that I had and uh, to, f to try to make sure that, uh, do what we could so that others didn't have to hear those words. You have cancer. Everybody has like a story, a story of like, why it's important to them. And there are so many people that feel like that anger towards cancer in general. And like ACS Can is a way to share that story. You just feel like you're doing something with what happened. You don't have to be like angry because it happened, because it's like it did happen. And like you can't change that. But you can use your story, you can tell others and like make other people or like understand why you're so passionate and maybe like teach other people how they can use their stories. Use your story to make a difference. Join ACS Can today. Visit acscan.org slash relay or download the ACS Can app on your smartphone.